Nothing cures the blues better than catching a rainy day walleye. Greetings and salutations, everyone. Jake Vegas here with Jake Vegas Digital, and today we're going to do some fishing. Mainly, going to show you guys how to catch some walleye in New York using a Jester 7-foot rod and an attorney bait caster. And I believe I have 8-pound floral line. Yep, it's 8-pound uh, it's test floral line here. I don't have it in my backpack, but I do have it on the reel. And what I'm going to do is show you guys how to uh, fish for walleye at nighttime. And the best lure that I've discovered is this black spoon. Now, don't worry about that message that the terminal tackle is too light. Uh, the cast may be short, but it's still far enough to get us out there to catch some walleye. So once it loads up, we'll go ahead and be at the dock a piece. And I'll show you where I catch these guys at. Now, I just want to take a second to thank uh, the people who have been watching, you guys who have been watching my videos and who have subscribed to me recently. These Fishing Planet videos are doing relatively well, and uh, I want to thank you all for it. Without your support, I wouldn't be making them. So anyway, let's go ahead and fast forward time to 10 p.m. And it should turn nighttime. There we go. All right. Now, straight out from the dock piece gonna go ahead and cast this 1 fourth ounce black narrow spoon as far as I can out there let it sink all the way to the bottom now on this particular reel I set the speed to 1 and I do a constant retrieve and I just give it a little twitch every now and then once I get to about I believe it's between 190 feet I might pick up the pace on how often I twitch it Oh, there we go. We got a hit already. And I can almost guarantee this is a walleye because uh, I haven't seen any other fish really hit. It's got a little bit of fight to it. Haven't really seen any other fish hit at nighttime, especially on uh, this black narrow spoon. So pull this guy in and there we go. We got a 3.3 pound walleye. Nice looking fish, man. These are good eats too in reality. $288. We'll go ahead and put him on the stringer or fishnet. I'm not sure what I got. And I'm going to go ahead and cast right back out there. Let it sink all the way to the bottom. See, we're about 123 feet out there. I mean, if you can get even further out there, it'd probably be better because I know there's, there's walleye all over in the deep spots out there in this lake. But we're going to go ahead, do the same steady retrieve at a one speed on the reel. And once I get to about 90 and 80, I'm going to give it a little bit more. Oh, yep. Twitch it a little bit quicker and enticed another walleye already to, uh, to hit that spoon. Go ahead and bring this guy in. And see what we got here. Three pound walleye, $267. Good way to earn cash. We'll go ahead and put him in the keep net. Now you can catch walleye with casting spoons during the day as well. I've caught them off of, uh, I believe, the silver narrow spoon and the um, yellow and red narrow spoon or medium casting spoon. But I don't catch them nearly as much as I do at nighttime using this black narrow spoon and there's one other bait or not bait but lure that I can show you at nighttime that I've had extremely good luck on catching a walleye. I would highly recommend if you're gonna fish for walleye and you're gonna cast spoons fish at nighttime between 10 and 4 in the morning. Um, that is when I have had the best luck catching these guys. And we got another one on. All right. This one's got some fight to it too. Go ahead and pull him in. A littler one, two, 2.3 I think it said. 
$201. Eh, we'll keep them though. It's, it's decent money and that'll get us to our next fishing spot. Yeah. <laughs> and I got the Perch Master Challenge. Three gold. Nice. Nice little reward. And some more line. I can always use line. Free line. Anything free is good. Now, if you guys want to switch it up from the black narrow casting spoon at nighttime to a different type of lure, I would suggest the half ounce jig head with the two inch glow shad. Now I'm going to cast out in the same area that I've been casting. And I'm using the half ounce jig head because it gets, gets that lure out there a little bit further. See, we're at 152 feet out in the lake where with the fourth ounce, I believe we only get to about 125 feet. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the same method. Uh, I bump the speed up when fishing the glow shed to two on this reel and set a one, a little bit faster retrieve. And it's because it's more difficult to get that jig head off the bottom of the lake to uh, twitch it. But here we go. We got one on using the two inch glow shed. Let's go ahead and reel this guy in. See what we have here. And we have another 2.8 pounder. 200 some odd dollars. Nice looking fish. We'll go ahead and put him in the keep net. I'm gonna go ahead and cast right back out there. We're gonna use the same method that we always use to bring in this lure and see if we can't entice another walleye to hit this. Now you can cast on other parts of the lake, um, to the left, to the middle, uh, as long as you cast it far out there, as far as you can get. And um, this retrieval method that I've been showing you guys seems to work best for me, but uh, I've caught them. I've caught them on other parts of the lake. But this area, <laughs> this particular area, just seems, at least from my experience at nighttime, with these two different lures, seems to yield the best results for consistently catching walleye. Another one, $219. So it's the next day here on Emerald Lake, morning time, and it occurred to me that not everybody is going to want to fish the spoons, pardon me, or uh, even be able to get the spoons at the level they are when they come to this lake. So I wanted to show you guys that you, you can catch these walleye also by float fishing for them. I have a number two hook with small minnows on it, I believe. No, I'm, I'm positive actually that I got the, uh, I just set the leader to 99 inches. You wanna, you wanna have it set all the way down as far as you can go because that's a very deep spot out there in the lake. And you have to have a rod and reel combination that will be able to get your, uh, get your bait out there at least 110 feet. I'm at 125 feet right now. Might even reel it in a little bit, but I haven't caught them any any less than a hundred feet with uh, float fishing, so I would highly recommend having a setup that'll get you at least 110 feet out here if you want to catch the walleye during the day float fishing. It just so happens to be raining out here today, might make it a little bit easier to catch them too. Oh, and we got a hit. Yep. Go ahead and reel this guy in. Yeah, the float fishing for the walleye isn't bad either. Um, depending on the time of day and the weather, it, it varies. They, I, I don't catch them as frequently as I do casting the spoon in the glow shed at nighttime, but you still can can catch them. There we go, another two pounder. $186, we'll put them in the keep net, and I'm gonna go ahead and cast right back out there. Same area. Give it a cast. Let that minnow sink to the bottom. 99 inches down. Maybe we could pull out another walleye. And it looks like we got something, got something playing with the bobber already. They're playing with the minnow. Bobber's moving. 
It was, anyway. Something's toying with it. Just gotta have the patience to wait it out. Oh, and we got the hit. <laughs> wow, one right after another. This is... This is awesome. Cannot complain about this. We'll go ahead and get this walleye in here, too. I'm almost positive it's a walleye. Could be a... You know, a pickerel or a small, young northern pike, but I doubt it. At that depth, at that distance out there, I'd venture to say this is another walleye. And I can tell by the way it, it's, it's fighting, too, that it's most definitely a walleye. We got him in here. 2.7 pounds. Little over $200. We'll put him in the keep net, and uh, I think I'm going to conclude this episode here, guys. Uh, we've caught quite a few walleye last night and this morning. Farming these walleye on Emerald Lake in New York is a great way to earn some cash uh, to get you going to other spots. So, if you enjoyed this video, please click that like button. If you want to stay up to date on future content, please subscribe. I'm Jake Vegas with Jake Vegas Digital. Keep on fishing in the free world and we will see you next time.